stamping friends, it's Sharon Armstrong. On this video, I'm using the stamp set from Stampin' Up! called Wetlands. And um, if you've seen any of my other videos on this set, you know I love it because it's perfect for those manly cards. I had so much fun making this. It's like a picture frame. Isn't that cool? All right, so when I made it, I was like, okay, I need to practice on mitering my corners again. So I've done that a few times, so bear with me as we learn this together. Um, there's no trick to it, I just learned not to cut off too much in case I needed to whittle down a little bit more. You'll understand. All right, so I have um, Pool Party as my card base. I have a small piece of crumb cake. I have four strips that are one inches, makes the measuring really in, really easy, four inches, and I just cut them, um, I think I just cut the five and a half, and then just cut one inch strips, but we're gonna trim it down so it doesn't matter. What you're gonna do with these is you need to take it and run it through the um, wood grain uh, folder by Stampin' Up. Okay, we're gonna give it that picture frame look. Then I'm using Very Vanilla, and my Very Vanilla is um, four and a quarter, no, yeah, five and a quarter by four inches, okay? So that's the size, and that's ultimately what we want our frame to be. All right, so what I did was I took some soft sky, and I just dabbed. This is, this is a delicate picture framed, framed picture. We don't want it too dark. We just want it lightly. And something I want to point out to you as I'm doing this, see how I have my fingernails? Let me get a scratch piece. <clears throat> if I didn't have my fingernails, like whether you have nails or not, I mean, you can have really, really short nails, and if you don't do this technique right, you're going to get some unwanted marks. Let me show you. See? That's from my fingernails. We don't want that. We want softness, okay? Then the next thing is I'm gonna do the same thing with crumb cake, just really lightly. This is almost like a watercolor effect the way it's turning out. Okay. So I've already taken and run my strips, as I mentioned, through the uh, Big Shot using that wood grain folder. And I want to take, and I'm just going to be placing it right here just for now, I want to see if I covered my whole area or if I need to add more. I need to add a little bit more on this side. Can you tell? All right. So that's just, we're just kind of eyeballing it. My pool party again. I mean, if it makes you feel better, go edge to edge. Then you don't have to worry about it. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to get my bottom piece again. Just for, just for measurement's sake, I'm going to ink up my sandpapers using chocolate chip. I went with chocolate chip ink because my wood strip, my wood frame is chocolate chip. So, I don't need that piece, but I do need this piece and this piece. I want to make sure I stamp center in between my frame. I like to hold my stamp down for a few seconds just to let that ink really transfer to where I want it. Okay, I did use chocolate chip, right? Yeah. Oh, maybe it'll dry lighter. <laughs> it looks a little bit darker than my sample, but that's okay. All right, so now I'm ready to um, fix my frame. And the way you do it is you take one of the sides and your piece that's on the top and we're going to miter them. Let's see, let me do it this way first. Take one piece, 
We're going to do that. And then we're going to match these two pieces up. Can you see that? And I'm just going to use it as my pattern. Ta-da! See, it's a little bit off. Let me do that again. Ah, uh, I see the problem. I didn't have it lined up on the point. So it was off just a tad. My strips, by the way, when I cut them, I cut them four by five so that it would fit on my card. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Hmm. That's just really strange. See, I told you we're learning this together. Hmm. Let me think. What am I doing wrong? I love to make mistakes on the videos because then it helps you when you're making yours. Okay. That should work. Basically what I want is this effect. But see if I do that, see what happens? That's not right. <laughs> That's just not right. Alright, so let's just try this one more time. You can kind of see Uh, we're getting there. No, we're not. All right, so I am not real sure why that's not working because it should. So I tell you what, for the video, we're just going to try this again. We're going to leave we're going to leave our top and bottom piece straight. I'm not going to trim those down. But what I am going to do is I'm going to flip this around so that I can trim this corner. I'm going to trim the other side. So these are my two side pieces of my frame. All right, let's see how this looks now. I'm gonna have to figure out what I did wrong because it should have worked. I still get that picture frame look and I'm still okay with it. It's just not as, see, this one turned out perfect. I know you don't believe me, I did do it. See, really puzzled. Okay, all right, well, let's move on. Let's go ahead and put some dimensionals on these pieces. Since it's kind of long, I want several dimensionals on there. I'm going to have to play with that some more. I'll make just a video and attach it to the end of this showing how it really is supposed to work. Because I am not a quitter. I will not give up. That's just so funny that I played with it and played with it and played with it. I was like, yeah, I can show this on a video. And then, hmm, didn't work. All right. So we're just going to lay this down here. And then I'm going to take my side pieces. So this will be this side. Make sure you put the dimensionals on the right side. And 
and I can tell already that I'm going to have to trim that very vanilla because my frame's not turning out right. So see, one thing leads to another, but that's okay. I'm the queen of boo-boos and we can fix this. It just proves no one's perfect and we all make mistakes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just trim this down because I don't want that very vanilla showing. Okay, so now we have it, and I'm going to go ahead and put some snail on all four sides, and mount this, and when I put it down, I can see that I need to trim a little bit off that corner. I don't know if you can tell it on the video, but there's a little bit hanging over from my frame. I'm just going to give that a little snip. Okay, and then I want to stamp, thank you. And we're just gonna use some snail. So it's almost like a picture frame with the name. You know, like when you see in art galleries. Anyway, it's a fun card. Come back for the next part of this video so I can show you how to matter those corners better. I'm off to go practice. Thanks for watching.